ring announcer Dave Donaldson. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to beautiful Corpus Christi Sparkling City by the Sea. We've got some great fighting tonight. At first, we're going to turn your attention to junior lightweight boxing. And it'll be six rounds or less. In the red corner, wearing the black and the gold, with a record of two, three, and one, from Albuquerque, New Mexico, at 130 pounds, let's welcome Chris Crispin. In the blue corner with 13 wins and no defeats, with seven by knockout, wearing the black and the red trim at 128 pounds from out of St. Louis, Missouri. Let's welcome Eddie Hopson. Hopson. 20 year old Eddie Hopson from St. Louis, 13 and 0. Julian Abendano, the referee for this opening bout. Eddie Hopson, who fought. Kelsey Banks in the Olympic trials back in 1988. Beat him once, then lost to him twice in the box offs. Well, you know, Eddie really impressed me in those Kelsey Banks fights. And I was wondering what happened to him. But Lou Duva spoke to me. He said they're bringing this kid along very, very slowly because he's a super talent. Talented, fast hands, can punch hard. And we'll get a look at him in the scheduled six-rounder. Chris Crespin, 21 years old, born in New Mexico. And Las Lunas comes out of Albuquerque now. And we'll switch back and forth. He's a natural right-hander. And down from the first punch. Hobson's first punch sends Crespin down. He's up quickly. And Samuel was a perfect straight left hand from a southpaw stance. Beautiful punch by Eddie Hobson. Hobson moving right in, going to the body. Crespin is okay. It's more like a flash knockdown than anything else. Seems to be okay. I like the way Hobson faints first before he goes in. He goes on that attack, Sam. Crespin is not okay. Now he's hurt and in trouble. Trying to collect himself. Eddie Hobson. You see Hobson faint first before he goes on the attack. His last fight was July 27th on the undercard of Colonel Whitaker Holy Diaz in Norfolk, Virginia, and he scored a first-round knockout in that one. And he's on the attack here against Chris Crespin. Crespin trying to turn things around on Hobson. I don't think Crespin has landed a punch in the fight, Sam. There's that left hand flashing in there again, very quick. That's been off balance with that lunging right hand. One thing that Lou Duva said in, in our talks with him is that uh, Hobson is a young kid and there's no reason to rush him along. Well, and you know, uh, Lou is a sly old fox too. Probably the, one of the reasons that Eddie hasn't had that many fights is the fact that he does fight Southpaw quite often. A lot of guys don't want like to get their fighters in there with Southpaw. He's a natural Southpaw, but he, as he just showed moments ago, will switch to right-handed during the fight. Hobson looking for the opening, not wasting punches. That left hand has been solid. Straight left again. Hobson plants himself very well on his punches. Joe. Sets beautifully on those punches, Sam. And as you said, does not waste a punch. End of round one. Chris Crespin. Going back to his corner. There is Eddie Hobson. And there's Lou Duva. You're looking at this guy. You're waiting a little too long. Okay. Hustlers, guy. Forget the head. Go to the body with this guy. Okay. You got it now. This guy doesn't step much with his head. Stay up a little bit closer. Swing that head over his shoulder now with the first. He's got a hard head. Don't let the shot you hit him 
throw you off your battle. Get out there and bat, jab this guy. Get close, Bob. And we put a body going on the side, throw the body. Bring up the up punch. You're going over the head. He's dropping down. You can't hit him in the head. Okay. Here's that knockdown kill early. All right, let's take another look. And there it is, that perfect straight left hand, Sam. First punch of the fight. I think he got Pressman's attention with that punch. You know, Sam Ludo was telling me that the, I think they've like revolutionized the training of fighters. They don't have their fighters get up in the morning for road work. Uh, they, they stay away from that early morning road they work. They train first and then they do road work in the afternoon. And Lou explained to me that the doctors have told him that people are at their most alert in the morning. He said, if you want to teach somebody something, the morning is the time to do it. Teach them to get out of the way of the punches and whatever, and do the heavy work uh, in the evening. That's what he does with Evander Holyfield and all the other great fighters that, that he has under his control. Bernal Whitaker, Meldrick Taylor. And this is a very good-looking prospect right here. Eddie Hobson. Turned pro at the age of 17. Says his boxing idols were Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Robinson, and Sugar Ray Leonard. He said, Sugar Ray Robinson? He says, yeah, he watched a lot of tapes, a lot of film of Sugar Ray Robinson. He said he loved his precision. Sam, if you, if you ever watch tapes of Sugar Ray Robinson, you were watching poetry in motion. He could do it all. Preston has been lunging with his right hand. Well, he seems to be completely puzzled in there with Eddie Hobson, whether it's the fact that Hobson's a south forward just too talented for him. I guess it's a combination of both. Hobson just moving in with arms down, almost daring Crespin to throw something at him. Hobson looks much stronger than Crespin. This is round two scheduled for six. Banging the body nicely with that right hand underneath. Almost seems as if uh, Hobson's setting him up for that left hand by banging the body a little bit. Sammy really is punishing that body, and it's really bothering Crespo. Hobson has fought six times. This is his sixth fight of 1991, so they're keeping him busy. Again, that right hand to the body, and Crespin feeling it. Sam Hobson looks in excellent condition as well. Bouncing on those legs. Looks like he's really enjoying himself in there. Much faster than Crespin. He's beating him to the punch. Time winding down in the second round. The phone is only $39.95. To order, call 1-800-525-1000. This is an authentic replica phone, authorized and licensed by the Chevrolet Division of General Motors. Order your... ...from New Mexico, two-time New Mexico Golden Gloves champion. He's been also involved in kickboxing and karate on an amateur level, competing in both sports. Hobson moving in, banging away with both hands. Got good hand speed, Gil. Good hand speed, good control of his weight with his legs, Sam. He's in, he's out, just puts you in punching range when he wants it, and then takes himself out of punching range with those good legs that he has. There he is skipping back again. This is Hobson's 14th fight. It's a scheduled six-rounder. They feel he's ready to move up to eight rounds. Well, he was back. Preston may have stepped on his foot. It was off balance. Thompson responding. See, 
anything, any similarities to his, in his style with uh, Pernell Whitaker? Absolutely, Sam. I was just, I knew you were going to say <laughs> Pernell Whitaker and not Sugar Ray Robinson or anybody else. Same cutie, same southpaw style, moves in and out, side to side on those legs. That's a junior. He must have boxed a lot of rounds with Pernell Whitaker. No question. Bring some cheers from the fans. There's that straight left hand. It's not Crespin down. It was off balance and he was hit with the right. Let's see if they rule it a knockdown. No knockdown. No knockdown, says the referee. Julian Avendano. Hobson will do some of his training in St. Louis and then go to Virginia and train with the rest of the Duva stable. Well, I asked him if he's into that early morning routine. I said, yeah. I said you know, you usually train in St. Louis. He said, well, sometimes early in the morning and sometimes <laughs> regular training routine. Look at those hands and banging away to the body as well. Train with Roger Bloodworth in St. Louis, then with Georgie Benton and Ronnie Shields and Lou Duva in Virginia. Again, that lunging left hand by Crespin. Some people say the press goes too far sometimes. Sorry, I don't think it's appropriate. Um, good head movement by Hobson. But again, he could be popping that right jab an awful lot more, I think, in this fight, Sam. Hasn't gotten hit very much in this fight. Come back, come back. His, his attack is like you, I guess you'd call it a sneak attack. It's not uh, anything where he's setting you up and setting you up. It's jumping quick, get out quick. As if he were listening to you, did throw three jabs moments ago. A lot of swelling underneath and around the right eye of Chris Crespin. Well, Lou Duva mentioned that uh, Eddie Hobson still makes some amateur mistakes. And I think that's uh, probably part of it. He's, a lot of times he, he, he's out of punching range uh, himself, but he, he can't hit the other guy, so he has to leap in instead of just sliding in behind that jab. And I would imagine that's one of the reasons he's bringing him along slowly to learn. That's exactly right. down in the first round from a straight left hand the first punch that Hobson threw flash knockdown that's been the only knockdown of the fight Hobson has been in total control has gotten hit with a couple of right hands from Crespin Crespin's two wins in his six fight pro career have been by decision And the end of round five. All Eddie Hobson. Let's go into the corner. Lou Duva is in the ring with him.
things calm and under control in the corner. Well, they should be, Sam, and he's got five rounds in the bank. Final round. Preston should try kicking this thing. <laughs> I wonder how that would work. I think it would uh, catch Hobson by surprise, Gil, in this one. Hobson with a uh, little too much ring experience, ring generalship. Nice moves in the ring for Preston. Preston has not been able to hit him very much. that landed quick right hook but again I'd like to see him settle down a little more and pop away with that right hand I think he'd land a lot more punches that way Sam you see the way he's doing he throws a punch and he's out of punching range the other guy's out and he's out nobody hits anybody quick and that right hand underneath and it scored caught Crespin by surprise Showing some nice moves, good footwork, good hand speed, good foot speed. There's no question he's a prospect, Gil. He's a definite prospect, but if I was a professional manager and I saw this fight, and I had fighters in his weight class, I'd say, who needs this guy? Because you're not going to look good with him, Sam, no matter, no matter what. Go back, go back, go back. Proven tough to hit. And coming back quickly with three right hands, the last right hook, a good one. Nice performance by Eddie Hobson as he looks for his 14th consecutive win as a pro. I think he could box Preston 20 rounds and not lose a round, Sam. And probably get away without uh, a mark on him. Tried that right uppercut from long distance. And that straight left hand landed. Final second for the fight. Likes to throw that uppercut, does Hobson. Final bell. Looks like a shutout from this vantage point. Absolutely. 20 year old Eddie Hobson from St. Louis, Missouri, out of the Duva stable. A junior lightweight with a lot of promise. Well built. She's 5'5, 128 pounds. National Golden Gloves champion. We mentioned in the 88 Olympic trials, defeated Kelsey Banks, and then in the Olympic box offs to make the team, Banks beat him twice in close decisions. Take a look at the fast hands. All right, there you see it again, Sam. Puts those punches together, and that right hook was fairly effective in the fight. See him moving on those legs while he's punching, Sam. It's not just punching. He's setting the guy up beautifully because he's moving at the same time he's punching. Throwing a lot of punches. Busy fighter. Cards have been collected. Dave Donaldson has the official announcement for us. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. All three judges scored 60-53. Our winner in the blue a shutout for the young man from St. Louis, Eddie Hobson, now 14-0 with a solid performance. Well, how'd you like that backflip? Look good. <laughs> uh, 
I give him a 10 for that, Sam. Eddie Hobson gets a 10 for gymnastics and a 60. Perfect score and a six-round unanimous decision victory. We'll be back with more Fight Night action in just a moment.